Okay, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is pure balance and hydrate alkaline water and electrolytes and Saratoga water from Saratoga, New York. Still natural spring water. So we're going to start off by doing a pH test comparison. This one, the pure water advertises it as having a 9.5 pH level. The Saratoga water does not advertise a pH level at all. So that's usually a sign that it's kind of acidic if they don't advertise it, but here we go. I'm going to drop this solution in there, and we're going to see what the pH level is. And I need to let you guys know I am colorblind, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide what color you think it is. But here's a chart showing uh, the levels. Again, I am colorblind, but this one does look more acidic than this one. But what do you guys think? What do you think the levels are? These are both pretty big bottles. The uh, Saratoga one is a glass pint. The Pure one is a plastic liter. So they're both a little bit bigger than a normal bottle. Um, the Saratoga one I got during my trip to State College several months ago. This is just from a grocery store out there. A few weeks ago, I reviewed the sparkling version of Saratoga water and it, uh, as you can see, the bottle is exactly the same. It just says spring still water instead of sparkling water. Um, this is a very old one. This says it's from 1872. So this company's been around, you know, over 100 years. It's a pretty long time. The Pure Water is a pretty new company. I bought this on Walmart.com. This is a very like limited water. I think they only sell it on walmart.com and amazon.com and just a handful of uh, grocery stores. Uh, an interview with the founders of this company, they say that their like main selling place is walmart.com. It's not even in Walmart, it's just walmart.com. Uh, so I ordered this, had it shipped to the store, bought an 18 pack, as you can see behind me. I had to carry that back home on the bus. These are like these are big bottles and there's 18, so it's like it's pretty heavy carrying it back. The 18 pack is $20 and 88 cents for the pure water, which at first hearing that that sounds very expensive, $20 for, you know, an 18 pack of water. But you have to consider that these are pretty big bottles. And if you just compare the price of this to other high pH waters, it's a little bit over a dollar per bottle. That's not that crazy, to be honest. A little bit over a dollar per bottle, that's not that bad. Um, the, the last water I reviewed, ounce water, was over $5 per bottle. Um, so this, a little bit over a dollar per bottle, is not that bad at all. The ingredients in this one include purified water, potassium carbonate, potassium bicarbonate, and magnesium sulfate. This is bottled by Eagle Beverages in uh, Anaheim, California. And I think the, I don't know, I don't really love the branding. Like it's weird that the water drop just cuts off in a straight line instead of being naturally ending. When I first saw this water on the website, I thought it was pronounced fur water, like P-H as in fur, fur. I thought that was kind of stupid branding. Like, do you want your water to taste like animal fur? That was kind of weird, but it's supposed to be pronounced pure, which is good for water. And it's P-H with an extra H because it has a high pH level. So it actually does make sense to have the, the extra H there. Um, this was founded by Alan and Sabrina Pierce. You can see them in this YouTube video here. And I can just tell from this video that these people are, they're not really water people. These are like business people who happen to sell water. Um, like she, the, the interview asks them, what what's special about this water and they say um alkaline water is fast growing 
they don't say like they don't give reasons of why it's great water they give reasons of like why they decided to go with alkaline water and it's like all like everything every answer that they give is like responding in a business sort of way like they use, they use a lot of key words and um marketing terms stuff like that and i don't think they truly love water just based on the interview but um so we're gonna do a taste test and i'm gonna decide which one of these i think tastes better and the winner is gonna move on to the next round here we go here's pure water That's a good one. The bottle is, is very similar to Smart Water in the shape of it. And uh yeah, no no bad aftertaste. It's a good, you know, it's a good clean water. It's really the main thing you can ask for with water, is having no uh aftertaste. Yeah, Saratoga has no smell. Kind of, this one kind of tastes like uh, a glass, obviously because it's from a glass bottle. Um, I wonder if I'm biased, because the majority of the time I drink out of plastic bottles. So I wonder if I'm just used to the taste of plastic. Like I wonder if I drink out of glass bottles all the time, if the plastic would taste kind of weird. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, uh, the taste of glass? I feel the same way about drinking out of, um, you know, aluminum, like, coffee mugs. If you drink water out of aluminum coffee mugs, it kind of tastes metallic. I think glass has kind of a similar taste. plastic bottles when they're really cheap like when they use the super thin plastic or, or when the plastic heats up it has a plasticky taste but I think when it's good quality plastic and uh, it's stored properly it does not have a bad taste These are both pretty good. <clears throat> they both get a thumbs up, but I'm gonna say that the winner, the winner and the one that's moving on in the next round is the pure water. I think just out of these two, I think this one just tastes better. And uh, I don't really love the, the the name or the logo, but I do think the water tastes better, and that's the most important part. So congratulations, pure water.